What's up YouTube? This is uh, Mugen Photography. Uh, today I want to do a product review or going to do a product review. Uh, I'm going to do it on these new uh, FM radio triggers, remote triggers um, that I just got today. Uh, I bought them off Amazon. They cost around 19 bucks uh, with free shipping. Uh, they are made by newer. Um, so yeah let's get into it alright well first off um, well first off let's read uh, well let's open it <laughs> uh, speed light trigger PT series so um, they came with two uh, receivers I believe yeah came with two receivers in the box and a one transmitter and it looks like they take triple A batteries but um let's read the specs uh, they the frequency is 333 megahertz with a range of less than 30 meters and a sync speed of one two hundred and fifty one two hundred and fifty of a second with a um, two AAA batteries in order to make them work. So uh, here is the receiver. I don't know if it's focusing, but uh, maybe right here probably. And here is the transmitter. And they are made by newer. Uh, so uh, let's get my camera and my T5 and try them out. Uh, I had bought these um, remote triggers because I didn't have one. These are my first ever kind. Uh, oh, by the way, it has the uh, channels right there on the back those red squares I'll probably try to put a picture in the video if I can but uh let's read the directions <laughs> uh, let's just skip to the good part how to sync up the receiver and the transmitter alright it's pretty much kindergarten stuff so I just put the one down and and leave the rest of them up but uh, the reason I bought these uh, remote triggers is because I didn't have one and uh, the flash I'm going to be using is a flash made by all all true or all true all ultra a l t u r a ultra photos and it's an AP FLS UN V1 like so it's a pretty uh, standard flash manual flash uh, it was also a cheap one that I bought because I didn't have an external flash and I needed one so uh, entry level stuff but anyway let's get one of these receivers out anyway what well, Oh yeah, what I was saying before was that the reason why I bought these triggers is because I didn't have one and I need to be able to trigger my manual flash off camera and I didn't want to use slave mode because I only have the one flash and that means I have to use a pop-up flash or I actually do have another generic flash over there made by uh, Vivitar but it, it sucks so I didn't want to uh, do that use slave mode I really uh, wanted to do it manually or remotely I mean so that goes on like this it goes on like that Let's set the channel hit the on switch and I'll just press this button on this one, see what it does. Oh, it lights up, so I guess it works. 
But, um, yeah. And let's put it on this uh, light stand or remote flash stand. <laughs> This way. So off the top, uh, it said it had a. It said it had a 250 of a second sync speed. I don't know if that's gonna be fast enough for general use or anything really. So, uh, well, let's test it out. Uh, let's first uh, turn on my flash. Uh, let's use the minimus, lowest power setting. Uh, let's shoot it up against this wall up here just to get you an idea of how it uh, looks, I guess. So, uh, I guess we'll put it in manual. I don't think that'd help if I had an SD card in here. Let's put on manual. Let's set the shutter speed to, it said 250 was the maximum. So, let's do something lower than that and work our way up. Let's do uh, let's do 125 and see what that looks like, and we'll go from there. 125 at ISO 100, f3 using the 18 to 55 millimeter. We'll shoot in portrait, single uh, single shot out of focus for single shooting, evaluated metering. Flash exposure, flash exposure composition set at zero. Auto white balance. We shooting in raw, raw. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. You guys might not be able to see it on camera, but anyway. So that was it. Uh, it's a pretty dark photo. So let's up the flash power to something bright that you guys got to pick up on. Let's do maximum, just because. That was really bright. Ah, wow, that's really cool too. God, I wish I had somebody here <laughs> that I could take pictures of, but uh, I'll put this in a video because that one is just awesome. That's just perfect. Uh, that was 150, I mean 125th of a shutter speed. Let's move it up to 160. Use the same uh, flash power. And it can go up two more stops, but um, or two more increments. <laughs> and let's try it again at 160. Some results, I think. Yeah, not much of a change. Let's try uh, bump it up to two hundred. Uh, let's see the same results. Not much of a change. Let's bump it up to 250. See what that does. I was getting dark on the top of the uh, picture is darker. I guess it's starting to catch the edge of that shutter uh, closing. Let's do. At 250, let's go to 320. 1 320th. Up 
Okay, now there's a really distinctive uh, super shadow of the shutter closing. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that dark area, but this was 200. Since 250, you start to see it, um, the edge of the shutter closing. This is 320. It's really dark. So let's go up to 400. Well, let's go up to 500 because that's where I like to be usually. And as you can see, it's very dark. This is 320. This is 500. There's only a little room of uh, light or getting through so um, yeah that's it uh, let's hit the test button see what <laughs> well okay uh, so um, that's it uh, that's all I wanted to uh, show you guys the new well new to me the remote triggers by newer <coughs> they seem uh, and decent enough uh, I really wish it was like higher. If it went up, if it maxed out at 500, that would be that would be the sweet spot. Or, but you know, it's, yeah, if it maxed out at 500 or 640, it'd be even better. It has a range of 30 meters. Uh, how far is 30 meters? Uh, let me check my converter. Converter. Wink. Three meters. One, two, feet. It's 98 feet, so that's pretty far. But um, I wish it was like the shutter uh, sync ratio was higher. But for 19 bucks, uh, it gives me something to work with. Because before, I didn't have anything and. I did want to use slave mode and the on camera flash over. Yeah, I did want to use the on camera flash to trigger this one. And I got two of them. Uh, so, yeah, this will pretty much hold me over until I get some professional, high, uh, higher cost thing, high dollar uh, remote triggers. But, um, yeah, they work uh, very well. <laughs> but, um, I wonder if they can hand up to the, let's see, <laughs> a better stuff. But, uh, yeah, they seem good enough. Uh, I guess if you don't have one, I would suggest buying one off of Amazon. I got mine here, 2016. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, like, fave, and subscribe. Later.